Hi friends, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady here. I'm really excited to see you today. We are gonna be celebrating the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I just love these devotions in the summertime. The summertime is the perfect time to celebrate these devotions because the month of June is dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the month of August is dedicated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We have some really fun celebration ideas for you today, so I hope you can join us. I'm really excited. Let's get started. So as you know, our heart is a vital organ in our bodies. It uses the circulatory system and it pumps blood to all the rest of our body, right? It brings oxygen and nutrients everywhere that it needs to be. If you take your two fingers and put them on your neck, like right here, you can feel your pulse. So because God came to earth as Jesus Christ, he was a real man and he had a real human heart like you and like me. Now, usually the heart is referred to as the part of our bodies where our emotion comes from, especially the very special emotion of love. The sacred heart of Jesus is an image that is showing us just that, that Jesus loves us with all his heart. In fact, the sacred heart of Jesus has flames around it because Jesus's heart is on fire with his love for us. Doesn't that sound like an awesome love? The sacred heart of Jesus is surrounded by a crown of thorns. And this reminds us that Jesus suffered for us. The immaculate heart of Mary is encircled by roses and her heart is on fire too. Her heart is on fire with her love for Jesus Christ, her son. She also has a sword piercing her heart as prophesied by Simon in the Bible at the presentation of Jesus. The sword in Mary's heart reminds us that her heart felt many sorrows when she saw the sad things that happened to her son, Jesus. Now that you understand all the symbolism behind the sacred heart and the immaculate heart, Lydia is going to show us a really fun sacred and immaculate heart craft. Let's go. Hi, I'm Lydia and today we're going to make sacred and immaculate heart paper bag So we're going to look at the templates from the Saint Puppet ebook and trace it onto any color of paper and then cut it out and glue it onto the paper bag. Okay, I'm probably ready to get started. Mm -hmm. Okay, what color do you want to do your berry? Um, yellow. Okay, I want to give her a dress. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to take the pencil and you're going to try.
These little guys are so much fun. I just love these. Okay, now that we're finished with this, we have a bigger craft to make for the game we're gonna play, so we're gonna go outside to do that. Come on. So we are gonna make a great big sacred heart using some pool noodles. First of all, definitely never use a knife unless you have an adult helping you. So you have to cut the pool noodle at an angle to give it a point at the end. You're gonna do this to each one of your pool noodles and then they're gonna to fit together just like this. Hold those two ends together by wrapping clear packing tape around and around. This makes the bottom of your heart. Now you're gonna make two slightly more angled cuts at the top of the pool noodles to bring them around to make the top of your heart. Again, just attach these by wrapping packing tape around. Then you have this amazing giant red heart that you've made from two pool noodles. Now just take some flowers that are the colors of flames and cut them off with wire snippers and use the stems to stick them straight into the pool noodles. This makes the flame at the top of your heart. This giant pool noodle sacred heart plus a frisbee is what you need to play our next game. Okay, now that we have our pool noodles made into our sacred heart, I'm gonna take mine and tie it up in that tree over there and then I'm gonna let Julian explain to you what our game is all about. Hi, I'm Julian, and today we're gonna to be playing the Sacred Heart game. Let me explain the rules. This is the Sacred Heart here, and this is the Crown of Thorns. When you throw the Crown of Thorns through the heart, you get one point. The first person with five points wins. So, who's ready to get playing? Yeah! Right here. Right here. Three, two, one, go! Wow, all that playing really worked up our appetites. Let's go see what Violet's whipping up for snack time. Hi, my name is Violet, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a sacred heart shortcake. So I'm gonna start by cutting the strawberry in half. Now we're going to cut the tops off to make a heart shape. Take your shortcake and put whipped cream on, on top. Put your strawberry on the shortcake. For the Immaculate Heart, put flower sprinkles in the middle. Take a marshmallow and cut it diagonally. And then after you cut it diagonally, you dip it in the yellow sprinkles for, for the fire. Take your marshmallow and put it right here on top of the heart. Now we're going to do another one for the sacred heart. The sacred heart gets chocolate sprinkles. We're 
extra fun, you can put a sword in the Immaculate Heart. Bon Appetit! Wow, there is just something about enjoying a good strawberry. I mean, sacred heart shortcake in the summertime, especially with as much whipped cream and sprinkles as Violet puts on it. You know what else I really love about the summer is when you have summer bonfires, the hot dogs and the marshmallows roasting over the fire. It's just so fun. And I thought, what better way to celebrate the most sacred heart of Jesus with his burning love for us and flames surrounding his heart than with a good summer bonfire. So we're gonna wait for it to get dark and then light the bonfire. I do like the rest of it, then I'll do my hair for more. If you keep him in this fence, he'll be good. <laughs> Most sacred heart of Jesus, while we are gathered around this fire in your name, we see the flames and we remember your burning love for us. Each time we see the fire surrounding your sacred heart, we will know that you are the light of the world, that your heart is on fire with your love for us, and that your love is perfect, pure, and everlasting. Most sacred heart of Jesus, we would also like to remember the promises that you made to us when you appeared to St. Margaret Mary. Number one, I will give them all the graces necessary in their state of life. Number two, I will establish peace in their homes. Number three, I will comfort them in all their afflictions. Number four, I will be their secure refuge during life and above all in death. Number five, I will bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. Number six, sinners will find in my heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Number seven, lukewarm souls shall become fervent. Number eight, fervent souls shall quickly mount to high perfection. Number nine, I will bless every place in which an image of my heart is exposed and honored. Number 10, I will give to priests the gift of touching the most hardened hearts. Number 11, those who shall promote this devotion shall have their names written in my heart. And number 12, I promise you in the excessive mercy of my heart that my all-powerful love will grant to all those who receive Holy Communion on the first Fridays in nine consecutive months the grace of final perseverance. They shall not die in my disgrace nor without receiving their sacraments. My divine heart shall be their safe refuge in this last moment. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray, pray for us. us.